I ain't gonna, I, I'm not even gonna pretend that I'm not fucking pissed, because I'm pissed! God! You know, <laughs> just keep the camera rolling, baby dog. I don't know, look, I'm not gonna sit here and make this fucking excuse, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it, I just wanna talk about it, okay? I think I have every right just to talk about it. I just want to talk about it, and then once I get it off my chest, it's off my fucking chest, okay? Don't, you don't have to move the camera, baby. I'm just going to pretend like I'm drawing a little fucking line down here, okay? It's the out of bounds down here. My boy Shepard. Boom. One, two, calls his boy Chico, says, Chico, we going to the Sizzler tonight. Because I just got a touchdown on the Eagles. Falls down. Goes to the ground. Has enough time to take a fucking nap. Loses the ball. And that's an incomplete pass. Keep it fucking rolling, man. Don't follow me, baby doll. I don't, I, I don't, I don't get that. Do you get that, honey? No. Because I don't get that. I don't know how you catch it. Two feet down, ten fucking feet out of bounds, and they and that's incomplete pass. But go ahead. I'm not gonna use that excuse, so baby doll. I'm not. I just wanted to talk about it. That's fair enough, right? Yep. Because we live in this world. This Eagle fans live in this world. I've been on this thing for ten fucking years, and these assholes will go back six years ago, whatever. And talk about how, oh, I owe them crow or some bullshit, right? Mm -hmm. What did I say this week? What did I say this week? I said, oh, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, Eagle fans, John's got a chance to win this game. I wasn't like EDP telling him, hey, y'all, we're going to win by 50. Where's his fucking crow? I'm not like Eagle Nitro Freak saying we're going to win by at least 10. You squeak one out! I'm not like E Rock on a fucking podcast on a Tuesday night saying Giants ain't got no chance! Field goal goes up, E Rock makes a video, he's running out of the fucking stadium, he's getting the hell out of there, cause he knows he squeaked it! It's bullshit! Regardless of the Shepherd thing, baby. Regardless, okay. Regardless, it's twenty-one all. Mm -hmm. Giants are driving. We need to get it in that end zone. Mm -hmm. We got. We've had. We had. We went on a twenty-one unanswered run. Of course, they have the drive because their defense is fucking gassed. They tied up. We get it back down there. We need to get in that end zone. Bullshit happens where we just fucking are pissing. You know, it's like, it's like, it's the equivalent of when I'm changing my daughter's diaper. And you open the fucking diaper and you think just piss is going to be in there. And that's an easy diaper change, baby doll. You know this. We know this. We're new parents. And we find out there's fucking shit everywhere. And that's what the giant are just shit in diapers. So we set up for a field goal, right? Mm -hmm. We set up for a field goal. Eagles go down. They, they, they tie it up too, right? Is that how it fucking, is that how it all went down? Just keep, keep it rolling, baby doll. Just keep it rolling. Just keep it, rolling. Just keep it fucking rolling. I'm not hollering at you, baby doll. I'm hollering at the situation. <laughs> I'm hollering at the situation. Yeah, I just wanted, I just wanted to, I wanted to make sure. Right? Right. <laughs> so they tied up, right? Mm -hmm. We get the ball, and what do we do? Shit in diapers again. We're shitting in diapers again. We're shitting in diapers again because we don't know if we want to run the clock out and just go to overtime, which is a good possibility. I know the D's gas, but still okay. Or we want to throw the ball. And then, baby doll, I knew. I knew because of Eagles, hit, Eagles Giants history. I knew when we punted the ball back to them with, what, less than 30 seconds ago, I just knew this shit, how this shit was going to end. Because I've been watching for too long. People want to sit here and say, oh, you ain't a fan of God, of the fucking Giants. But I, I, I know where my fucking heart has been run through the fucking mud when it comes to this shit. So anyways, Eagles get the ball back.
quarterback. We would miraculously stop him on a punt return. Of course, we had troubles with that. And then somehow, somehow, baby doll, they get to a point where they can kick a 61 foot. There's one second on the clock. How? How is it possible? How? Is a guy in the clock ticker just stop it? That's one second? You know, let's not talk about the fact when there was a penalty on the Giants. There was 34 seconds left. And then they said it were automatic 10 second runoff. Then they changed, they were supposed to go to 24 seconds. Then all of a second it's 31 seconds. I don't know what the clock was supposed to be, but I know the Eagles had one second to fucking go in the game to kick a 61 yard field goal. And then, baby doll, and then, through it all, mm -hmm. through it all, a fucking rookie gets out there and kicks a 61 yard field goal like he's in Denver. And the Giants lose the game. How much time do I have left, Dot? I need to know this. This is Three important. minutes. Three minutes. Okay. McAdoo. At the end of the third quarter, I was done with you. I said, I'm, I'm an optimistic person. I believe and I give people. I'm willing to ride things out. I'm willing to ride things out, baby doll. Mm -hmm. Sometimes patience is the best thing you can have in this world. It's the best thing you can have. A lot of people are impatient, but I am. And what do you do? I'm ready. I'm ready to be done with you. I'm so ready. And then you and the Giants out of nowhere, out of fucking nowhere, after watching three games. We put up 21 unanswered, and I'm thinking, I'm in this. They've reeled me back in, baby doll. They've reeled me back in. They reeled me, and then I'm sitting there saying, this is why you marry something, and you stick with it through the good times and bad. 21 unanswered, and then when I need your ass, when I need your ass to be money at the end of this game, when I need you to fucking give me some damn good fucking plays, nothing. Not a damn thing. I thought Eli played fine today, baby doll. I thought Sterling Shepard was phenomenal. I thought Beckham looked more healthy. I thought the offensive line did fine. You want to beat them up, beat them up, but I think they did enough to win this game. They did enough. This Giants defense can't take this pounding, baby doll. They can't fucking take it. I'm not going to fucking be pissed off at him. I refuse to it. Eli Apple, I don't know what your fucking problem is, but get your shit together. Believe it or not, baby doll, believe it or not, I have a life outside my football team. <laughs> I have a life. So any of these fucking booger-eating virgin nerds like Eagle Speed who live vicariously through their teams... If their teams are good, they're successful. If their teams are bad, they're still shitty. They're shitty regardless. I'm going to pick myself up. I'm going to dust myself off, baby doll. And I'm going to get ready for next week. Yep. I'm married to this motherfucking team. Shit's staying on the wall. But I'm fucking pissed off at them. I am. Eagle fans, congrats on your fucking win. I don't know what the fuck else you want from me. And I really don't care. Eagles fan for life, be, you need to be fucking careful what you say to me. You need to be very careful because there might be a day where you see me again in person. Cut it off, baby doll. I'm done with it.